Hello, I'm Zach here, and in today's video, I'll show you how to make your own pop-up holiday card. So this project has a lot of room for variation and customization, and you can really have a lot of fun with throwing in all sorts of materials that you want to use. But the basic materials that you're going to need are some cardstock. I am using two different kinds, one that is brown for the base of the card and one that is white to draw the little pop-up and decoration parts. You're going to need something to mark stuff with, such as a pencil or a pen and a ruler something to cut stuff with, like a small pair of scissors or a craft knife or both, and some school glue. Beyond these materials, have fun and just go crazy using whatever art supplies and things you want. I use some Copic markers as well as some glitter. So the first thing you're going to do is take a piece of the cardstock that you're going to use as the base of the card and cut off a strip from the side. It can be as thick or as thin as you like, but this strip is going to be recycled and used as the part to make the pop-ups. So I cut off about maybe half an inch and then set it aside. Next, you're going to fold your card in half to make the actual card. And you want to fold it back and forth a few times to make it so that it's easily openable and closable. Then you're going to take that strip again and make a little fold. This isn't really rocket science, and so I'd say again, I maybe fold it down about half an inch, but you can make it as long or as short as you want, but the longer you make it, the more your objects will stick out from the card, and the smaller that you make this fold, the closer they will be to the card. Then you're going to make another fold that is an equal space apart from the first fold. In other words, you're making little rectangular sections that are the same size. And you're going to do this until you have seven little sections. The one you see me doing is actually my second try because I accidentally only did six sections the first time. But yes, you want to make sure that you have seven sections. And once that's done, just cut it off. To make the pop-up mechanism, what you're going to do is take one side of that strip and kind of roll it until it forms a box back on itself, and then glue it together. The end result is kind of like a six shape, or a nine shape, I suppose. And by now you may already be starting to get an idea of how this works to make the images pop out. I ended up making two of these since I had two different images that I wanted to pop out, but the little one you see here actually ended up not being used and I made a different one later on, which you'll see later on. Then you can just set all that aside and it is time to make all the little goodies. For all that, I drew it on my white cardstock and what I did is I took the card and marked it so that I would know uh, the limits of um, how tall to make my pop-up images because I didn't want them to be taller than the card. This is where you guys can customize and make this card your own by drawing whatever the heck you like. And uh, of course though for me, I chose my characters Willow and Michael and Choo Choo uh, from my story String to the Other Side to make as the theme for this card and uh, because come on they, they need more love. I haven't drawn them much since Inktober so <laughs> I thought they would make a good subject for this card. 
I also made little decorations to put within the card to kind of make it look like it's a room. I made a little fireplace and a rug as well as a little painting that says Merry Christmas on it. And these things aren't actually going to be popping out from the card, rather they're just going to be glued right onto the card. One thing that I always tried to do when it came to string to the other side was to make the characters' actions kind of quirky and believable and just little funny-ish things. And so I wanted that to shine in this card, so I came up with this little goofy scene where Michael can't reach the top of the tree to put the star on, so he enlists Choo Choo's help and he's reaching and they're trying to put the star on top of the tree. I also gave Michael a little Santa hat because, you know, it's that's the season, as well as Choo Choo got a little elf hat. Um, I thought about replacing um, Willow's hat with a Santa hat, but I thought, you know, you know, her hat is her signature. It's like part of her head. You can't remove that. <laughs> you know, that would be like a spoiler if I did that, right? Um, it was fun to do them in color because I never really did them in color. When it came to doing Michael's colors, um, I had no idea actually what colors he would be um, because I never drew him in color. Uh, it was actually a hard decision of what color should I make his hair. And eventually I ended up with Dirty Blonde because that is kind of how I imagined his hair to be. Um, and as for his outfit, I just kind of went for these like dark bluish tones. And once you're done having fun and creating madness all over your desk because of your supplies, you gotta clean it all up. And then I cut out the things. Uh, I started with the non-pop-out stuffs and decided to work with those first. But before I even glued those things on, I decided to add some details to the card. I wanted the floor to look like a wooden floor, so I just drew a wooden floor on there with uh, my fine liner. Then after deciding where I wanted the rug and the fireplace to go, I glued them on. Uh, now one thing to keep in mind is to be light with the glue, and I actually even spread it out a little bit with my finger before sticking it onto the card, because if you use like a lot of glue and it's like really wet, it'll end up making a little warpy mark on the other side of the card. You want your other side of the card when it's closed to be nice and smooth, so you want to make sure uh, to not put too much glue and to not make it too wet. Next came cutting out the main attraction, the pop-out stuffs, and I started with my craft knife and then I found out that my craft knife is totally dull. <laughs> it can't even cut through a darn piece of cardstock without having to push down like a madman. So eventually I just ditched it and used scissors painstakingly. <laughs> Once they were cut out, I did notice that uh, Michael was only attached to the tree by Choo Choo's arm, and Choo Choo's arm is very thin, so he was flopping in the breeze and I was afraid that I was going to rip Choo Choo's arm off at some point. So to fix this problem, what I did is I took a little strip of brown cardstock and made this little L shape and glued it onto Michael's feet. This way, when I actually glue the tree onto the pop-up part, uh, I can glue Michael's feet down to the floor. That way he isn't completely reliant on Choo Choo's arm to stay attached. <laughs> then it was time to glue the pop-up stuffs onto the pop-up mechanisms. The part that you want to glue your stuffs onto is the back of the nine shape. So if you took your little mechanism thing and turned it around so that it looked like a nine, the number nine, uh, you want to glue the tree or whatever it is you're gluing onto um, with a little tabby part on the bottom. Kind of hard to explain, but hopefully the footage is pretty clear. to glue the pop-up stuffs onto the card. So you're gonna glue the bottom of the pop-up mechanism to the floor, butt it up against the wall. Then you're gonna lift the card up to 90 degrees and glue the back of the pop-up mechanism to the wall wherever they meet. 
Now, mind you, most of the time you're not going to hit it spot on and it won't be able to close right away. So what you want to do is while your glue is still wet, kind of finick around with it and try to close the card and open the card until you kind of get it right until it can open and close easily. Once the tree was on correctly, I also glued Michael's feet tab thingy to the floor. After gluing Willow on, I noticed that they were all kind of on the same layer. There, were, there wasn't much depth within this pop-up card. I wanted more depth. So while the glue was still wet on Willow's mechanism, I decided to gently peel it off. And thankfully, it was still gooey enough to actually peel off without ripping off the paper. And made a new pop-up mechanism, this time making it much longer. This way, she's sitting a little bit in front of the same layer that Michael and the tree are on. I just think it makes it look a little bit more interesting. At that point, I took a good look at my card and realized it looked a little bit uh, decrepit. I mean, I put little cracks in the wall and everything. Like it wasn't, it wasn't very jolly. The thing is brown, so I decided to pull out the sparkles. So I. <laughs> I kind of hate working with glitter. I mean, doesn't anyone? It just, it, it gets everywhere. It doesn't matter what you do, it will get everywhere. But, you know, I had to for the sake of this card. <laughs> so, yeah, what I did is I just took some glue, put it down in areas, and sprinkled a nice amount of glitter on top and dusted it off. I did all of this on top of a cutting board as a way to try and get the sparkles controlled, but of course they get everywhere. It doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> but hey, it's that season. It's the season where you just get glitter and just put it everywhere and who cares? And after that, I was pretty happy with the card. So yeah, that's pretty much it. One mistake that I realized I made later on was that when I closed the card, <laughs> The star sticks out. Oopsies. So that's one thing to keep in mind is that uh, to the, the more you make your objects stick out from the card, the shorter they have to be. And um, I made the tree too tall. So it looks fine when it's open, but when you close it, the star sticks out. Thankfully, I'm not making this for anyone. I'm just making it for myself. So I don't mind. But if you're sending this to someone or if you're giving it to someone, you probably don't want a star <laughs> sticking out from the top of the card. So just measure and uh, just keep that in mind and make it shorter than you think it has to be. I'd say a safe zone would probably be like leave an inch from the top of the card. I hid two little Christmas tradition things into this card. One of them is pretty darn obvious, but the other one may not be. It includes a an ornament that you hang on a tree. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Alright, well that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. I really hope you guys give this project a try. It's loads of fun to make and it's something that never fails to bring a pleasant surprise to someone's face. If you do make your own, I'd love to see it. You can always tag me on either Twitter or Instagram. Links to both as well as my other social media pages are linked in the description box. And until next time, Merry Zakira wishes you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And of course, stay awesome, stay inspired always. <laughs> See ya!